Welcome to Foodie Buns. My name is Brenna, and on today's episode, we are going to Seattle's oldest Chinese American restaurant, Tai Tung. Come along for the ride. Tai Tung is the oldest Chinese American restaurant in Seattle. It opened up in 1935 by Quan, an immigrant from Hong Kong, and now is owned by his grandson, Harry Chan. Tai Tung created an important space for immigrants as they settled in Seattle. This was actually one of Bruce Lee's favorite restaurants with his favorite dish, oyster sauce and beef. In fact, many celebrities have visited Tai Tung, including Anthony Bourdain. Generations of families return back to this historic restaurant as it is an extremely important landmark in Seattle's international district. Let me walk you around the table since we got so much food. First here we have sweet and sour pork. It is little pork strips fried in dough with the sweet and sour sauce on top of it. Looks phenomenal. Here we have what they call the Bruce Lee dish. This was Bruce Lee's favorite dish, which is beef and oyster sauce. Here we have pea vines, which I've actually never had before, but she was saying it's like a sea type of vegetable um, and looks and smells really good. Over here we have Chinese sausage fried rice. Here's the Chinese sausage and they look phenomenal. This rice looks so good. And then over here we have, and tell me in the comments if I'm pronouncing right, chow feng, I think that's how you say it. Um, and we have beef and we have some Chinese bro broccoli. That looks really good. The noodles look so tender. And then of course, what is a meal without steamed rice? And now let's try it all. Okay, I'm in my happy place, clearly. We will try first. I'm just gonna take a bite of each and then we'll actually eat a proper dinner. But we'll try the sweet and sour pork first. That crunch is so good. Almost tastes like donut-y dough, if that makes sense. Like it has a sweetness of like a donut dough. And then the like sweet and sour sauce is like honey-ish. And then you have that like porky flavor too. I'm gonna take another bite so I could get more flavors. Mmm, mmm, that was a fatty bite. You know, crunch is crazy. This is definitely more on the sweet side, um, which I love. I absolutely love sweet dishes, which is why I think I love Chinese American food so much. Um, the crunch is fantastic, and I love the tenderness of the pork. Really solid. Let's do some veggies after that fried meat. Now this is the pea vine, which I've never had before. It has garlic in it too, which I love me some garlic. Uh, trying to get a, a realistic bite here. Yeah. <laughs> it just keeps getting bigger. <laughs> oh, no. Okay, well, this is what we're dealing with here. <laughs> See if I can fit it all in there. Mmm. Mmm. It's really good. I don't know if you could hear that crunch too, but even though it's like a spinach leaf texture right here, these vines offer really, really solid crunch, which is really nice in texture. And the thing that I actually like most about this is that. It has that um, spinachy waterness to it. The crunch adds texture that spinach I feel like desperately needs. And then the salt, the salt level of this is actually really good. It's not too salty, really refreshing, and the garlic adds most of the flavor. It's really good. I'm gonna do the oyster beef, but I'm gonna put it on top of the rice because it does have some of that sauce that I wanna get some good flavor with. 
Got some beef here. Oh, this looks good. Got a little onion. Got regular onion and some green onion here. A little bit more gravy. A little bit more of the sauce. Ooh, that looks good. Yeah. Mm. It looks very comforting. Mmm. After the pea vines, like the salt level is so much higher, but it's like so good. I don't know how, but the meat is just so tender. Every time I go to Chinese American um, restaurants, like the way that they prepare meat, I just wish I knew how to do it. It's so tender, so soft, the salt level is really good, and there's such a creaminess to the sauce that makes it feel so luxurious but comforting and so simple at the same time. Like this is not the most extravagant dish in the world. It's just simple, comfort, tender, salty, stewy, Chinese American food. Two more to go. <laughs> now we're gonna try the um, Chinese fried rice. I'll just use the big spoon. The Chinese fried rice. Get a little bit of green onion on there. We got the um, Chinese Chinese sausage right there. Chinese fried rice, got a little bit of egg. Looks good. Mmm. Mmm. It's really good. I love this. The sausage is has a sweetness to it that I'm obsessed with. I love the green onion, like really refreshing with this fried rice. It is perfectly balanced with the soy sauce and the egg and the flavors. This is really, really good fried rice. As dish. Oh, I'm gonna bring it over to me. All right, we have a few different components to the chow feng. We have the noodle, we have the beef, and we have the Chinese broccoli, so I'll try each separately first. This looks good, I already know it's tender. Yep. I like butter. Literally better than filet mignon. I don't know what they do to their meat, but it's so good. It's so soft. Very natural in flavor. You just taste the beef come through. The fattiness from the beef adds a lot of that flavor. Chinese broccoli. Mm -hmm. Again, not too much added flavor there. Spinachy, a little bit like the pea vine where there's more of a crunch than spinach, um, but bland because, you know, it's a vegetable. <laughs> and then here's the star of the dish. I want to get a good noodle for y'all. I love chow feng. I love thick, fat, juicy noodles. Like literally there's nothing better in the world than a wad of starch. That's not starch. Starch? Carbohydrates. Let's go with that one. Mm. This looks good. Oh my God. Oh my God. It has me taken aback. It is so... It's not like chewy, like mochi, but it's like the perfect amount of bounce in the noodle to the dish. It is so squishy and so it fills up your mouth because the noodle is so fat. I'm gonna try it with the beef because I think that's the perfect bite. Ooh. <laughs> oh yeah, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. This is gonna be a good bite. We got a little bit of beef and a big old wad of noodles. Mm. And you can taste this like, char boiled or something like that. You taste on the meat. You taste the charring of the meat. This is really phenomenal. This is so good. No questions asked. Favorite Chinese restaurant in Seattle. It is phenomenal. Each dish was absolutely so good. Like zero complaints. Come, come, come here. I am about to fight the temptation of going home and take a nap because that was the utmost amazing food ever. I hope you get a chance to try out Thai Tung and I'll see you little foodies later. Be sure to follow my Instagram, click like, subscribe, and all the good things. Bye.